while designing the data model for MongoDB or for that matter most of the NoSQL databases you should focus on access patterns. What does access pattern mean? That how your application is going to access the data from the database. This is a critical consideration while designing the schema for MongoDB. Flexible schema capability to change schema at any point in time. Document structure that how your document structure should look like. Whether you want to have embedding that is that you have a main document. If you are not aware of MongoDB then please look my other videos where I have explained the details what is JSON, what is MongoDB and introduction to MongoDB. For now I am assuming that you are familiar with JSON structure as well as you have a basic understanding of MongoDB and you have been developing in MongoDB or related technologies for quite some time. So here embedding data means that we have a main document and we want to include the sub document right again nested JSON you can say that that this represent a nested JSON we want to store this information within this document within the main document that is called as embedding okay so now here we have main document id username and we want to store contact access level within the same document main record another option could be we want to keep it into separate collection in MongoDB right and we want to refer that ID within this or this ID in that that also we will see in the subsequent slides references like here I was mentioning that user this is the another way we have a user document where we only have ID username right and then contact document and in this contact document we have placed reference to this user id so it, it is pointing to this user id and there we are storing phone and email right and here we are storing the id as a unique record id to make this record as a unique and same way access document so you can see that these are the three collection but here we have only one collection so these three are the biggest considerations while designing the schema in mongodb so please make sure that you understand all these things. Biggest impact is of access pattern. If you know your access patterns, right, then you will be in a position to decide whether it is embedding or referencing. Then that will be the that will lead to efficient performance of your MongoDB database. Data use and performance will also be an important factor because you should know how your data is going to be used and what performance you want from your database it might be the case that you want a millisecond latency or you want the response in two seconds or it is fine if mongodb returns the response in five seconds also right so based upon these considerations you can efficiently design your mongodb schema